We spent four months last year touring around Europe, and then this year we're going for a 10 week tour around Scandinavia. We're just doing some preparations on the van to make it all fit and ready for that Arctic trip. We're Sarah and Ben. Welcome back to Diamonds on Tour. Right, so this morning's task is underneath the van. I've got it jacked up on blocks, so it's nice and secure, and I've got space to get underneath. And we're gonna be having a look at the waste water pipes and the waste tank underneath. So come with me, and I'll show you what we're talking about. Right, now these are the drain pipes which go down and take the gray waste into the gray tank, which is over there. So this is the Armaflex insulation. And I'll show you over in the workshop um, how I've actually done that because it's a lot easier to see off the van than down here. So join me up there. Right, so I've got here uh, an offcut of the pipe which is underneath the van and that's the drain pipes that come from the shower and the sink and go down into the grey water tank. And now this is electrical heating cable. You see it's got two conductors and inside it sort of pushes the electricity between the two conductors and this whole wire heats up. It gets up to um, about 70 degrees centigrade so that's absolutely shed loads for stopping it freezing and basically you can use it in any length up to two meters um, and you just cut the end, blank it off and away you go. It doesn't use too much power, um, about six amps for the amount that I'm going to be using, so it won't run the batteries down too unnecessarily. And what I'm going to do is use this silver foil tape to attach the, um, the cable to the pipe, just like that, flat on the, on the bottom of the pipe. I'm doing it here on the top, just so that you can see. And then this insulation will go around it. And this is Armaflex insulation, which is really, really high um, U value. And it's got self-adhesive stickies either side. So that will go around that nice and tight with the heating cable inside and will prevent these pipes from freezing, fingers crossed. The other thing is that I've got pads underneath the grey water tank, which are those um, self-adhesive sort of six inch by eight inch pads which are stuck to the bottom of the grey water tank and I'll be wiring those up with this with a switch from inside and then when it's getting um, to, to close to zero degrees outside we'll switch it on and that will, fingers crossed, prevent our pipes on the outside from freezing. Um, so follow me back underneath the van and we'll get all this fitted and then in a few weeks time we'll give you an update from the Arctic and again Fingers crossed, our pipes will not be frozen. <laughs> ah, right. Here we are now. Hopefully you can see this okay. Um, here are the drain pipes. This is the one that comes down from the kitchen. Go across here and down into the grey tank, which is over here. And the pipe over there comes down from the shower. So, I'm going to start by connecting some of this heating cable around this pipe. Um, I'll pass it over the prop shaft first. Yeah, there's plenty of clearance there. And attach it with this silver tape.
and let's check in. There's enough clearance over the prop shaft here because obviously as the suspension at the back moves up and down, the prop shaft moves up and down. But at this point, uh, it is fixed with the center bearing on the prop shaft. So there won't be any movement up and down forward of this universal joint. So I know that that will be okay where it is. Now I've cleaned all of these pipes beforehand with thinners so that the tape will stick nicely I'm using the silver tape so that there's a chance of it um, kind of reflecting the heat back into the pipe rather than outwards into the insulation then to the Armaflex insulation. First of all I'll cut it to length, that piece to there. Nice sharp blade to cut it. This Armaflex tape is really, really amazing. It's so sticky and it makes a fabulous job of just joining the uh, seams on this insulation and any of those little spots where it's just ripped a little bit in the uh, installation. It makes a really, really nice job. Okay, now we're on the other side of the van and you can see how the insulation is taking shape across here. This has got all the electrical heating cables already attached to it, going up here for the shower waste. And I'm also going to put some of this heating cable around the drain valve, which is down here, so that that hopefully doesn't freeze. Then all that's left to do is to wire up these wires, which go to the heating pads under the tank and then connect up the uh, the heating cables back through to the electrical system in the garage and this is the pipe from the kitchen and down over the prop shaft and down there into the grey tank so all that remains now is to connect up those wires down to the back to the garage area and into the relay so they can get their power right so here's the pipe that comes down from the shower at the top there 
around through the trap and all insulated and the heating cables are fitted in there. I've also put an additional length of heating cable around this, which is the electric drain valve for the grey water tank. And if I use this uh, laser thermometer, infrared thermometer, you can see there that the metalwork around the tank is currently at seven, eight degrees centigrade. But then when I look at the temperature inside the valve, getting up 26, 27 degrees centigrade there. So that is gonna be absolutely plenty to keep that from freezing. And I've got it just temporarily wired up to this power supply. So you can see that's drawing 4.6 amps and that's heating all of those waste pipes and the drain valve. Okay then, here we go. So this is all complete now. You see the wiring is now wrapped with uh, wiring loom tape and into conduit and fastened all the way up properly to the chassis of the van. Down to the back where it goes up through there into the garage and it's wired up to the, uh, to the relays in the back so that it can be switched nice and safely. So that's this part of our Arctic preparations complete. Join us next week when we'll be changing the shock absorbers on the van. You might have already spotted some new shock absorbers, but uh, you'll see the video next week.